hello for objects in the scene or from the polygon world in this case uh, a sphere which I deformed a little bit uh, a cube which I deformed a cone which is basically the same just a little bit yellow and the cylinder okay uh, on the animation that's the animation world here you have the constrain menu let's put this to the side here the top one is the parent constraint constraints always work like this you pick the master first and then the slave so to say for example if this is the master and you want that one to be the slave you pick that selection sequence parent nothing happens but indeed something does happen you see here a group the cylinder parent constraint uh, the effect is that when you move the parent the child or the slave moves with it like this and when you ro rotate the parent accordingly and when you scale the parent nothing happens so it's just moving inside it's uh, just following that parent dimension okay let's undo all this undo parent constraint very good next thing is um, point constraint okay let's select the master and then the point constraint object we want to constr point constrain this object the cone to that f sphere so where is the cone well it's inside that's the point constraint if we do it the other way around we select the cone first and then the X sphere and then point constrain it then we have the sphere moving to the cone but when we move the, uh, the sphere it moves all right uh, independently but um, we've got, got to grab the cone inside the cone is now totally controlling the sphere that's the point constraint let's undo with this okay next thing the orient constraint let's pick the master first this one has the master and well for example the x cube as the target um, orient you see it slightly changes its orientation and the thing about the orientation is the following um, nothing happens here right but when you rotate it the slave rotates accordingly so that's the orient constraint let's undo this now we go to the scale constraint you can guess what it is let's select that one again and uh, the cylinder and create a scale you see the cylinder gets much bigger now and when we change the scale here both will scale accordingly if we change the rotation nothing happens with the cylinder so it's all all about scale that's the scale constraint next one that's the last one we're gonna touch on in this tutorial uh, is the aim constraint let's select this one and well the cube again aim constraint and the cube changes its orientation why is that because it likes to aim the position not the rotation the position of the master so when we move it up it moves like this let's scale it up we can easily do this make it just longer and then move it we see it much clearer 
So that's parenting, pointing, orienting, scaling and aiming. All the rest is more sophisticated and more on the uh, component level, but this is uh, the basics you need to know about constraining and you need it basically all the time. Bye bye.